Outside the Peabody Essex Museum are seven trees that have been growing for over 40 years. The PEM is planning another huge addition and needs to put a temporary construction crane somewhere on the site so it will be convenient for the workers. Apparently, the only place to put the crane is in the very spot the seven trees are located. Now, I found out about this on Sunday, August 5th, when I happened to bike by the trees. It informed the Salem citizens of a public hearing to discuss the tree's potential removal. So on August 9th, I showed up. There were about 20 citizens in attendance, all unanimously and strongly opposed to the idea. It would have been nice if our opinions were considered and taken seriously. Instead, nobody was there to listen. Richard Renard, the Salem tree warden, didn't show. Claudia Chuber was supposed to represent the PEM, but wasn't there. Uh, not one city councilor bothered to come. Uh, no one from the planning board was present, and there was no representative from the mayor's office. Ron Malianic, the assistant director of public services, was the only person there to conduct the meeting. And he explained that the decision had already been made, that the trees were indeed coming down. When questioned why the public hearing was held after a, quote, done deal, we were told, quote, because we have to have one. Now, did they actually care about hearing public opinion, or were they just checking off some box? That night, I started writing to various city officials seeking answers. Tom St. Pierre, the Salem building inspector, replied with a very interesting email. In it, he explains how the PEM proposed their idea to the city council weeks before a public hearing was conducted. The council took a vote and granted permission. And by the time the public hearing was finally conducted, the city had already received compensation for the trees. They sort of skipped over the entire notion of a public hearing, which is funny considering that the trees aren't even on their property. The trees are on public land. They are your trees, and you deserve to have a say about them. Most developers are required to work around existing trees. I mean, just think of how tight New York City is. When they build skyscrapers, they're not cutting down every tree on the block, are they? Do you really mean to say that there's no other spot for the crane? It just shows you how weak the Salem Tree Ordinance is, virtually non-existent compared to other cities like Cambridge and Arlington. The PEM is paying the city to replace the trees with saplings, and neither the type nor the placement has been specifically discussed. And the $14,000 paid to the city seems a bit low. It's just hard to believe that each one of those healthy 40-year-old red oak trees are only worth $2,000. If you're concerned by this matter, let your city councillors know. Get off your butt and call them or email. Make your voice heard. Let them know that this breach of procedure is unacceptable in this day and age. Let them know that a public hearing is your right as a citizen of Salem that it is important and should not just be held as a formality. Let them know that this tree removal is a careless stewardship of nature. You voted them in. It's about time they started listening.